Hey, welcome to Tools on Tech. So I have a problem and that is my attic is a mess. I have Christmas trees in there, board games, video games, things that I want to find, but I don't know and I have to like dig through it through days. So I'm gonna do what any sane person does and that's create a notion system to keep it all tracked. So how did I get from this? that it started with a simple idea and that was there has to be some system that's used by companies to store things for a longer time while being able to find them back and it can't be that hard to emulate that in my home boxes and why do i talk boxes because my original system was using these these are ikea bins and you can still get them but there's no guarantee that you can keep getting them because Ikea has a tendency of like getting into a new collection and then it's trash out of the window. So what I tried this time is something like this and these are called Euronorm boxes. So the solution I wanted to find was a box that would stay around forever and this is a standard size used in industries throughout Europe. So they all come in sizes and then they go up. So like the next thing up is twice this. Heist is usually double that. So if you start stacking these things, no matter how you mix and match these boxes, they'll come out in the same. And that's why I love them. These ones are always gonna be around. I have never need to worry that I can't get a replacement box in the future. Another thing that I really wanted, uh, and it's that logo that says it here, is that it's recycled plastic. We already have enough plastics in the ocean. So reusing whatever is out there was one of the keys I had setting up this system. Though I hope that I never ever have to replace these. These will just move with me whatever house I go after. And because they're boxes, I can put them in whatever storage I will have there. So now they're in the attic on like the slope, but like in the next house, they might be in a room and then I can just stack them all the way to the roof. And thanks to the labeling system on it, I don't have to worry about it too much because even though it's a pain getting like the bottom box out, you know when you need the bottom box, so you're not doing it over and over again. And I've already discovered while using this system that the boxes that you use more often or that you've used last start moving up. So the ones that you need more often are on the top and the ones that you need less often move towards the bottom. So let's do a quick demo on how this looks when you pull it out. And that is, I can just drag these out. And as you can see, because this is a sloped angle, the bottom boxes are higher or longer. And then I got a small box on the top, meaning that I got this nice side thing and then these things are all there and then the long stuff that i have that i couldn't fit in a box is like behind these on the last bit as you can see all the systems having their individual numbers that gets generated in notion there's a qr code on it that gets generated at least the url gets generated in notion but the qr code gets generated by my dymo label printer and any label software will do that and then a name because Yes, you could use Notion for everything, but it's much more useful if you also have like a general indication of what's where, because very often you know which box you need. You don't need to open Notion when you have the name for it. You just need to open Notion when you need to double check something or when you're not close to the system. This has been helping me tremendously. I'm setting the same thing up in my studio and I will record a bit there because there I'm filling the boxes right now and then I have to label them. So why add my storage system to Notion? And that's easy because I keep forgetting what I have. And by having it in Notion, I can easily check it from my mobile phone on the couch and go through the boxes to see what I have. So what I have here is a simple jumpstart template and it will be in the description down below. Uh, to keep track of everything I have, there's a couple of things I put in there like auto ID generation. I can give it a location because I got stuff in the attic, but I got stuff in the shed and I got stuff in my studio. And there's an overview where you can see pictures of what's in boxes and a place where you can archive boxes if you no longer need them. Finally, there's also this Dymo label export, which is a specific way how I export what is generated so I can print all the labels at once, saving me a lot of time. Now this is set up to be simple by design. So it's a single table, a couple of formulas, but nothing too complex. It's easy to get started and work with. 
if you have more pressing needs, like if you're running a store or you need to keep track of your inventory, however, I am going to make an advanced version. That one is going to be paid, however, where I add like another table and they link together so that you can say this box has this many pans and this many cupcakes and whatever you want to put in it and keep track of your full inventory. But it's definitely more geared for anybody that's running a commercial business because it's absolute overkill if you just want to check what you have in your own attic. Now, this is also a good lesson in avoiding over-engineering when you're doing Notion. Initially, when I set this up for myself, I just had this one table storage system. It's nothing more than a table with one entry per box and then all the details of the box I just put in the page, making it super simple. Later, I added a few more advanced features like the ID generator so that I didn't have to manually figure out the ideas. And I added a URL generator for my Dymo label export, which but that's it. That's enough for home usage. And that's the full template that will be free in the link down below. Now I'm going to continue cleaning up the rest of my attic because this was just one corner and I had like four more to go through. If you want to watch any of my other Notion videos, they'll be on the top here. And remember, you're awesome. Keep it up.